everybody and welcome. In a previous video, I explained how to send advertising packets with the ASP32 chip. In that video, the packet content was defined using a struct. Today, I'll show you that it is also possible to pass to the driver the raw data in the form of a byte array. This makes it possible to create a custom advertising packet. In your program, you have to create a byte array and fill it with the payload of the packet. Then you will use a specific uh, function of the framework to pass it to the driver. You have also to specify the array length, in this case 30 bytes. Remember that the length of the payload of, the, of an advertising packet must be less than or equal to 31 bytes. The payload itself is made of one or more advertising data structures, each containing one byte for the length, one byte for the type and length bytes for the real data. In a previous video, I showed you an iBeacon and now it was possible to detect its presence with an ESP dev board. Today I want to try to simulate the same iBeacon with another dev board, copying its advertising packet. I used the NRF Connect app to get the packet transmitted by my iBeacon. NFR Connect displays both the advertising packet and the scan response one. This is the reason why you see more than 31 bytes. I have to copy only the first two ADs, the ones with type 1 and the one with type FF. Let's now test it. This is the exact setup of my previous video. The dev board is looking for the iBeacon to turn the relay on. If I now power my second dev board, running the program that transmits the road advertising packet, as you can see, the relay is turned on, so it perfectly emulates the hardware iBeacon. If I now power it off, after the timeout, the relay is turned off. Thanks for watching.